My name is Claire Kittner. I am a physician assistant in the Dumoulis Center for Cardiac Arrhythmias at Massachusetts General Hospital. You have been referred to the Cardiac Arrhythmia Service because you have very slow heart rates or problems with the natural wiring in your heart that prevents the top and bottom chambers of the heart from talking to each other. People like you need a pacemaker to prevent your heart rate from going too slow or to keep the top and bottom chambers of your heart beating in sync. Your doctor has determined that you receive what is called a leadless pacemaker, which is placed directly into one of the bottom chambers of your heart. This is different than other types of pacemakers that are placed in the chest that have wires or leads. With a leadless pacemaker, you will spend one night in the hospital and will likely be discharged the day after your procedure. At the start of the procedure, you will be given some sedation or anesthesia to keep you comfortable and you will be connected to some monitoring equipment to watch your heart rates and blood pressures during the procedure. Your doctor will place the pacemaker through tubes or catheters, which are placed through the vein in your leg, directly into one of the bottom chambers of your heart. At the end of the procedure, all of the tubes or catheters will be removed and a stitch may be placed on top of the vein to plug up that hole. This stitch will dissolve over the next several weeks. You cannot see the stitch and it does not need to be removed. If you press very hard over this area, you may feel a little marble-sized spot there and this is normal. This will go away over the next several weeks. On the skin itself, you will just see a little puncture site as if you had a big intravenous line there. This will go away over the next several days. The area will be covered with a big piece of gauze and some tape. The day after the procedure, the tape and gauze dressing can come off and you may shower and wash this area with soap and water. Do not scrub directly at this site. Instead, just let the water and soap run gently down your leg. We also do not want you to sit in or submerge this site in water for one week to avoid infection. This includes baths, swimming, hot tubs, lakes, oceans, and pools. After you shower, do not put powders, moisturizers, ointments, or lotions on the groin site for a few days. The site may stay open to air without another bandage on top, but you may also cover this if you wish. It is normal for the groin area to be mildly tender or bruised after the procedure. The bruising may get worse and expand down your leg. There may even be some slight swelling. All of this is normal. The area should not be swollen more than the size of a marble and should not be severely painful. The area should not be red or warm to the touch. If you notice any drainage, or if the area becomes painful or hot to the touch, or if you see signs of infection such as fever, you should call our office. Activity-wise, you are restricted from heavy lifting or strenuous exercise, also for one week. Heavy lifting is considered more than 10 pounds, and strenuous exercise includes running, cycling, elliptical, rowing, yoga, golf, pickleball, using a lawnmower, etc. Walking is okay. These restrictions are to protect your groin site. And lastly, we say no driving for two days, given the repetitive motion of using the pedals and the pressure this puts on your groin. You may have other driving restrictions if you have had fainting or if you have fainted in the past due to your abnormal heart rate or rhythm. After your device is placed, you may be given a remote monitor with instructions on how to transmit data from the device quarterly or upon request. The instructions for how and when to send transmissions will be reviewed with you before you go home from your procedure. Someone from the team will see you prior to your discharge and will review all of your medications and any new prescriptions that you might need. After you are discharged, you will come to the device clinic a few weeks after your implant so we can check your wound and make any necessary changes to the device. If you are having any symptoms, please call the office. If you have any general questions, you may call the office at 617-724-4500 between the hours of 8.30 a.m. and 4 p.m., or you can send a message through Patient Gateway. Please note, we do not check Gateway messages overnight or on weekends.